Hello everyone. Okay, let's provide the complete solution to this problem. We have x times x times x minus x times x equals 18. Now, what will be the first thing to be done? The first thing we are going to do is to multiply this 1 to 3. So that means we have x to the power of 3. Then minus x times x, that will be x to the power of 2. And that is equal to 18. Now, since we are to solve this completely, I want to use a particular method for this. Um, I want to express this in this form. Okay. 18 here is the same thing as um, 8 plus 10, right? But 8 plus 10 will not be in this form. So, in fact, the two numbers that we have here, they have to be subtracted from each other, right? Just like we have on the left. So, I have x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2. I already have two numbers in mind. The numbers will be... 27 minus 9, right? 27 minus 9. Yes. And then we, this is because we can write 27 in this form and 9 can be written in this form. So this will now give x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 equals 3 to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 2. Now, if you look at the left-hand side and the right-hand side, they are alike. So, let's regroup. We have x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3, then minus x squared, right? This will come. Then this comes out to become plus 3 to the power of 2. Now, there's nothing on the right-hand side. But we can decide to regroup what we have here. So we have x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3. We'll apply difference of 2 cubes here. Then here we have negative. Okay, let's open brackets. For this, we're going to have x squared. Then this negative will affect this. It turns to negative 3 to the power of 2. And this is equal to 0. Now, we can apply difference of two squares here and difference of two cubes here. By the way, we are used to difference of two squares. a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b into a minus b, right? But then, if it is a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, then this will be a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared. Okay, so this is what we have for difference of two cubes. Now, for this um, difference of two cubes now, a minus b becomes x minus 3. Then, open the bracket, a squared, that will be x squared. Then plus AB, that will be X times 3, and it's 3X. Then plus B squared, what is B squared? 3 squared, and that is 9. We'll close this. Now, let's go to the difference of um, 2 squares. So from here, we'll now have X. You know we have A plus B, right? That will now be X plus X plus 3, right? We have x plus 3 into, okay, x plus 3 into x minus 3, and this is now equal to 0. So that we can now factorize, if you look at these two, x minus 3 is here, and it's over there. So x minus 3 is a common factor. Then here we have x squared plus 3x plus 9, right? Then minus, what will be left here? This is already out, so this will remain x plus 3, 
right? Then we equate everything to zero. Now, to continue with this, we are going to have x minus 3, still the common factor, then x squared plus 3x plus 9. This negative now will open the bracket. And if it does that, we'll now have negative x, negative 3. And everything equals 0. x minus 3 in the bracket, then we have x squared, 3x minus x, that will be plus 2x, plus 9 minus 3, that will give us plus 6. Then we equate everything to 0. Now that we have two terms to multiply in order to get 0, we will equate both of them to 0. So it's either x minus 3 equals 0 or x squared plus 2x plus 6 equals 0. From here, x will be 0 plus 3, meaning that x is equal to 3. This is the real solution to the problem. But then, from this side, we will get additional two solutions. So let me copy that again. We have x squared plus 2x plus 6 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation. We are going to use the quadratic formula to solve it. x is equal to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. a is 1, the coefficient of x squared, b is 2, c is 6. So our x will now be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared minus 4 times a, a is 1, then times 6 because c is 6. This is over 2 times 1 because a is 1 and 2 times 1 is still 2 right so our x will now be minus 2 plus or minus we have square root of 4 minus 24 2 squared is 4 4 times 1 times 6 is 24 then divide by 2 okay so i will continue from here so that our x will now be we have minus 2 plus or minus square root of, we got 4 minus 24, right? That will give us minus 20. And then this is divided by 2. This is x equals minus 2 plus or minus square root of 20 times square root of negative 1. What I have done is to pick out the negative from the root. This is over 2. Now, we can simplify this root 20. So, x will be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 times 5. Then times i. Square root of negative 1 is imaginary. So, we write i and we divide by 2. Now, to continue with this, our x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2. Then we have root 5 times i, then we divide this by 2. 2 will go there one time, 2 will still go there one time, but this is negative. So x will be equal to negative 1 plus or minus i times root 5 is i root 5. Okay, so from here we have um, the solution, but this is 2 in 1. So this is to say that x is equal to minus 1 plus i root 5 or sorry i wrote out of sight or minus 1 minus minus i root 5 so from here we have two additional solutions to the equation but mind you that these right here are imaginary solutions. The only real solution is x equals 3. Thank you for watching.